Hello, it's week two. It's so far pretty easy to fall. And that's why I like the beginning of the years. So as you can see, I'm in my pajamas. It is currently 11.30 p.m. And I am still in my pajamas because it's a shitty day. <laughs> So I just did not feel the need to get dressed today. I just, I just didn't have it in me. So I just did not. Also, you only see part of it. Like, you only see the sofa. But it's quite a mess. <laughs> and I've been planning to clean it off for a week now. And I did not. That is life. I'm tired. For explanation, um, been pretty depressed and and I got my period since yesterday, and I'm losing quite a lot of blood very fast. So I'm quite tired, <laughs> and yeah, I'm not in great mood. So as you may you remember from you know last vlog i had planned to buy a camping car and i did not because my car can't handle it so that sucks that is one of the reasons i'm depressed to be honest hey strip tease Not that you don't see more of it in summer, but you know what. Uh, so yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I spent quite a lot of money, but none of this camping car because I did not buy it. And it sucks because it was a dream that I had for a long time and I worked myself up to it and it crashed down and burned. I'm gonna miss having that dream, you know? So, since it's just a problem of car, I can revisit it the next time I buy a car. So, that is going to be when this one dies, because I keep my cars until they die. And maybe then I will buy a stronger car, so that way they can handle a camping car. And maybe I'll go back there and see if they still have it. Maybe stronger cars tend to be more expensive so we'll see what kind of money I will have then we'll see also I kind of like having a small car at the night because it just doesn't doesn't consume as much fuel and it's easier to park and you know it has some good points so it's, it really sucks but yeah that's life life sucks that is not new. So yeah. Um, on Saturday I mostly rested because I was really tired. I still managed to do some laundry. I cleaned the litter box of my cats and the amounts of figs. Which took quite like three hours maybe. It's always like a, a huge experiment when I download it because I download like 50 at a time and I have to decide which one I do and then I have to yeah it's it's a whole endeavor so yeah on Sunday no that's not it doesn't make a lot of sense mm, that was Sunday Sunday I rested I forgot that now the week start on Sunday so I was like no on Sunday, it doesn't make sense. So it was on Monday that I made some. I went to the tarot club. It was fun, and I then asked my friend there if he'd agreed to let me park said camping car in his countryside house, and he agreed, which was nice of him. And then I had to call him to tell him that I didn't buy it, and it was nice. And he was like, "Oh, you know, I can I can lend you some camping car camping." stuff, you know, a tent and all, and I was like, that's that's really nice of you, but what I needed was a camping car so I could 
go with my cats if if I don't have the camping car it's all too much so maybe maybe I will rent some place nearer the the ocean for the few days of Easter we'll see I'm not sure so we'll see then but yeah I went I called my insurance which went too much because apparently they were closed so I got someone else and uh, kind of got my answer and anyway I dealt with it and I went to the pharmacy for the first time that week yeah first on, Mon on Tuesday was my big day and I was so exhausted first I only had like seven hours of sleep six seven hours sleep because I had the car appointment at 9 a.m. and then since I was already there, I decided to leave my car, take the bus, and go to the city center, do all of the other stuff. So I went to the optician for my sunglasses to get some prescription glasses, lenses for my sunglasses. So they are there. They should have called me then, from then, but they did not. So that's fun. And I went to the tattoo, my tattoo just so she can see it and take pictures of it. And she liked the result and so do I, so that's a good thing. And I also went to the library, so the library was a problem. Usually it's open from 10 a.m. So I was like, I'm going to straight to the library. Then by the time I'm out of the library, I will have just the time to go to the tattoo artist and then go back and get my car so that was perfect you know but the library apparently this new year is not open until 1 p.m and then when i went at 1 p.m they said that all of the books that i wanted were in the young session section and that didn't open till 4 p.m so i went all the way and i waited all the time for the fucking library for nothing because I couldn't get my books and I was so frustrating. But I also went to the Asiatic shop, grocery shop, and I found some sweet potato noodles that I've been meaning to try for a long time now. And um, I tried them out yesterday and they were not good. Like, they don't have much of a taste, but the texture is just weird and I just don't like it. It's just, it's not close enough to ramen for what I wanted. So that's not fun. But I still got my car checked out. So it told me everything is fine. It changed the candles and everything is fine. It's great, which is great news. And maybe paying 180 bucks which is a surprise for what I asked, so it's good, but so means that I'm kind of glad that I can't buy the, the camping car because 200 bucks on top of that, I would have been a little strained this month, you know? So yeah, I still got my car checked up and the oil change and all, and I got my sunglasses where they belong <laughs> for now, and I got just my detriment, so everything did not work out well, but did something. Also, since I had to wait, you know, I wanted to find a tea shop just to sit because it was raining and I was tired and I was on my feet for too long and everything went wrong. <laughs> Came uh, that that day. It's just I just had a shitty day. I wanted a cup of tea, you know. So I went to the tea shop that was near the place where my tattoo artist is was waiting for me and I went there and <laughs> it was closed exceptionally and I had to walk almost all the way to the other side of the city center to find another tea shop because all of the ones that I knew were either closed indefinitely or closed exceptionally. <laughs> it's just like what the fuck man and um well there are some good things about it. The tea shop that I went to she does make some gluten-free mini pies, mini tarts on order. So if I ever want a mini tart that I do not make, 
I can buy them there, but I just have to, you know, know in advance. So we'll see about that. Uh, so that that was Tuesday, and when I came back home, I just rested a lot because I was exhausted. I was wet, I was tired, I was cold. <laughs> Everything went wrong, but it's okay. In the end, it's okay. On Wednesday, I did the dishes. I bought some cat food for my sick cat, which was like 50 bucks. It's great. And it's on life, but it's great. So all in all, I spent quite a lot of money <laughs> this week, even if I didn't spend it on the caravan. So <laughs> yeah. And I also crocheted it a bit, so I finished that when was that that I went to my oh that was last week I crocheted a bit uh, not a lot I should crochet more because that's kind of the main thing of 2023 crochet and sewing and I did not do much of it but it's something and the next day so it was Thursday I called, finally, uh, I was super depressed on Wednesday, to be honest, that's why I didn't do much. Because, of course, I couldn't get the camping car, so I was pretty depressed. On Thursday, I finally not, not up enough to call the orchard where they got the camping car to tell them that I couldn't take it, because that's common courtesy. And I don't want to ruin my relationship with them, because I gonna need them to like me for a few more years, you know. I also made a brownie, which I ate two thirds of ever since, all by myself. But in my defense, I am running out of chocolate, and I got my period, and it's it's just it's it's tough. And I also went to the pharmacy for the second time and to buy some fresh yeast, so I can make another brioche. Hopefully, it will turn out better than the last one. I wanted to go to the swimming pool, but not gonna lie to you, it just did not happen. <laughs> I was sore everywhere, and I don't know why, because I um, I got my period the next day, so I know why. But I was sore, I was tired, I was not in the mood. I just did not, you know? And main thing that I did was write and plan fix. What I thought, what I saw is... Um, a list of prompt for February, which means that at, at post fix hurt and wound things uh, for all February, and I'm excited because the fluff that I wrote for the advent was just not my my thing. It's it's not my area of comfort. It's not my comfort zone, and I did it, and almost completely did it. And I only have four left that I didn't write. But for February, I do not plan to write it on every day. First, I don't have ideas for every day, but I have ideas for 20 of them. I want to do it. <laughs> Most of those things are things that I already planned, but I can finally finish it and post them if I use them for that challenge. And the challenge, they are draining and they're exhausting, yes, but they make me accomplish a lot in a little time. And if I don't do that, I don't know when I will finally write them and finish them. I need a deadline for my writing to, to make it work. Most of the writing that I've done, it's because of deadlines. So that's the same thing. And I've been uh, spending quite a lot of time planning and writing synopsis and plots and stuff like that. It was very fun. And I'm excited. So we'll see we'll see what I can pull off. Yesterday I went to the vet to get the vaccination tags that I didn't get the last times and and get the the cat food. And then I came back and I kinda did nothing else <laughs> the whole day. 
In my defense, I was having my first day of period of chat. I'm always cranky and tired in my first day. And it's not getting better today. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because I'm losing too much blood too fast. So yeah. And today I saw one live stream. I wanted to go fetch a letter that my dumbass mailman still didn't give me directly because he still can't find my fucking door. Even after a fucking month of me telling him, it's fucking there. There is my name on the fucking ring bell and all, but he can't find it. So I was. I wanted to go to uh, the the bar where I am supposed to go, be taking my pictures and all, and I did not go because I woke up at like three p.m. and I was like, no. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that on Monday on my way to Tao Club. Hopefully. If I don't, uh, I'll find some way. And I wanted to do some cleaning and I did not. I mostly spent most of my time here reading because just no. <laughs> I'm just tired. I have another, another live stream at 3 a.m. I think so I may watch it then. What I wanted to do and I did not do, I did some crochet but I wanted to do more of it. I wanted to go to the library, I went, I just didn't get my books. <laughs> I wanted to write, I did some, I want to write more. Maybe I would write more after the vlog, you never know. I wanted to clean up, I did not. I wanted to make the plans for my bed so I can get started on it since I cannot work on the camping car, I might as well focus on something else and go to the swimming pool but that is not going to happen until i stop bleeding so yeah next next week i have like tao club mahjong library and everything that i did not do this week so that's gonna be fun we'll see what i managed to accomplish And I'm not doing too bad about it. I wanted to catch up on the advent fix. I think I'm trying to focus so much on February Womp that I will not catch up on it. Anyway, oh, my spoonie journal. Uh, I've been completely, I forgot completely to do it for a few days and then I was like, fuck me. So I cut up and now I'm doing it more consistently. I'm doing it every day. And it's it's nice, I like it. I think it's going to go great once I finish the year, you know? I think it's gonna be cool. I wanted to order the yarn for my friend's scarf commission and for my blanket, that I, my poncho blanket that I want to make. But they ran out of yarn for the white for the blanket. So I'm waiting until they restock the white until I can order. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. I wanna crochet a lot, a lot, a lot, lot this year. Crochet and sew. So yeah, that was this week and we'll see you next week with hopefully some updates on a couple big 